NASA's Mercury spacecraft was designed to splash down, aka land in the water, for a host of reasons. But the one that we're interested in right now is the fact that the ocean is a nice yielding surface. It's a little bit softer to land on the water than on the land. But there was a chance that the landing would go awry and the astronaut would have to land on land. So how could he survive? Well, that's what this deceleration test is showing research into. This test shows protection with a land landing. Everything in this test rig mimics the Mercury spacecraft. The astronaut stand-in is lying in a contour couch, just like the astronauts would have, that has him at a 12 degree incline. Underneath him is a simulated heat shield, the body support frame, and layers of aluminum honeycomb that are designed to crumble under impact. You can also see that there is a large restraint system. Not only does he have the kind of torso restraints, he's also got one on his head, on his chin, and other parts of his body. This test mimicked the 30 feet per second landing that a Mercury spacecraft would experience if it touched down on land. It was designed to measure the acceleration input and the physical response of the astronaut stand-in. In this instance, he was subjected to a very short burst of 49 Gs, which is 49 times the force of gravity. That is a lot. It's a really good thing that none of the Mercury missions ever had to land on land.